Hello all and welcome to chapter 3 of our 5G radio planning course. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the propagation models and propagation model tuning. So we will introduce you why a propagation models are required in telecommunication. Then we will also learn about which all different types of propagation models which are available. Tuned, untuned, both. And then I will tell you the purpose of performing a model tuning or tuning a model and how and then the model tuning process which involves the CW drive testing and what exactly is model tuning with CW drive testing. So this is the agenda for chapter three. Let's get started. So first of all, let me, you know, un make you understand why a propagation models are required. If you already have, you know, discussed about the link budget, you already know how we can calculate the MAPL and the cell radius. And in simple words, there were deterministic factors which were contributing like the uh, BTS power, antenna gain, feeder losses, etc, etc. So they are very, very deterministic. And in between, we have considered a factor called the path loss. Where in the model tune, in the link budget, the path loss, we have kept it as one of the margins like other margins like rain fading, etc. So that is what we discussed. So in the link budget calculation, we simply say that there will be some path loss. What is that path loss? Maximum allowable path loss. So that is what we identify, but that maximum allowable path loss will not encounter at all the time. If you can see, there could be river bodies also, there could be vegetations as well, and there could be hilly areas also, right? So when the RF is transmitting, these factors are going to play a very important role. I remember, you know, from my past experience, I was delivering one of the trainings in uh, the Telecom Regulatory Authority of UAE. So like we have TRI in India, so there is a Telecom Regulatory Authority. So they were, you know, while doing the discussion in the radio planning, they were telling that the signals, the RF signals from Iran is coming into UAE. And then when we wrote the operator's emails that your signals are coming into our area. And let me tell you one thing, the signals or the radio spectrum is treated like uh, any other natural resources of the country, right? So going the signals from one country to another country is a big deal, right? That is why the TRA has wrote to Iran that your signals are, you know, overshooting in our area. So they told me that Iran accepted this fact and they said, okay, we are working on it and the issues will be fixed. And after that, previously the penetration was, let's say only five kilometers. Now, after they agreed, the penetration becomes 10 kilometers. Do you know why? Because both UAE and Iran are separated through a sea border, right? And whenever they provide down tails in the antennas, so because of water, the overshooting becomes even higher, right? So we need to consider all these facts, all these things into consideration. That is why we need a actual cellular propagation model, right? So what does propagation model will tell you? It will not simply give you a margin that this is your maximum allowable path loss. It will actually simulate the environment in a way that before you actually deploy your sites, you need to know what exactly and how much the signals are going to be deteriorating. That is the meaning of propagation model. So propagation model is a very important role to play in the 5G planning scenario or any technology planning scenario for that matter of fact. 
because once the link budget is completed next thing is you need to identify the propagation model which is going to actually create a simulated environment in your network from years there have been a lot of research a lot of tests have been done in order to make a very robust kind of propagation models but let me tell you one more important fact that all these propagation models they work on the assumptions or a standard deviation of 7 to 10 dbs with a mean error of 0 to minus 1 to 1 you can say between the range of minus 1 dbs to 1 db so let me tell you what exactly does a standard deviation and a mean error means standard deviation means if you remember from the link budget i told you about the slow fading margin this is signal strength this is the distance between the base station and the mobile now when this signal when you move away the signals get deteriorated and standard deviation of let's say 7 db means at this point if you think that your signals are going to be minus 70 a standard deviation of 10 dbs will simply mean that actual value could be minus 60 to minus 80 so if you are getting something in between this that means your propagation model is perfectly tuned so that means if you if you know basic logarithm mechanism 10 times or even 100 times variation in signals are perfectly okay so still you get a very very deterministic values right so this is what is going to be the agenda for model tuning the best model which tune which is tuned after the best practice applied would be something like this a model which will give you a standard deviation of 7 to 10 dbs and the mean error of z minus 1 to 1 db we'll come to this no problem let me first only focus on what exactly is the propagation model now i hope you are getting an idea about what exactly is the propagation model now there are different types of propagation model which are divided in three categories first ones are called as deterministic models pardon about deterministic models so deterministic models are like plane earth model or free space path loss model right free space path loss model free space path loss model this is something which everybody is I guess aware so a free space path loss model looks something like that 32.4 plus 20 log d plus 20 log f where d is the distance between the base station and the mobile phone and f is the frequency or frequency band on which the signals are operating so this is a very very this is the meaning of a deterministic model that means if you know the distance between your base station and your site if you know the frequency on which you are operating you can simply put this and take out a value how much is going to be the path loss that means how much deterioration in the signal will be experienced but this is free space that means not even air is there which is usually not true so we have other models like dual so slope models dual slope models then we have plane earth model i am writing it down you can do a little research on these things plane earth model plane earth propagation model right so in fact the okomara hata also is a deterministic model that means you have a fixed formula for you right so these are deterministic model 